You guys know me. I'm Harry James. Now that was more like it. As Oklahoma sends West Virginia back to country roads with a loss and keeps their slim chances at Big 12 title championship hopes in store. With a 59 to 20 drumming of West Virginia. We'll tell you how they took, how the Sooner Schooner took down the Mountain Men. Next, right here, 1982, Bummer Sooner, you know what to do. Don't go away. <laughs> back guys welcome back you guys know me i'm harry james all right well as you guys know as i said the oklahoma sooners send west virginia back to country roads with a loss and keep their big 12 hopes in stive and in store with a 59 to 20 drumming of west virginia is your final here are the passing to statistics for the two teams. Then we'll go over the scoring highlights. Uh, stats. Passing stats. We'll start there. Garrett Green. 154 yards through uh, passing through the air. Two touchdowns. Uh, interception. And his longest completion. 49 yards. While Dylan Gabriel. 423 yards through the air. Threw for five touchdowns already. Didn't throw a pick. His longest completion, 63 yards. Rushing. The leading rusher for West Virginia, number four, C.J. Donaldson. Junior, 14 carries, 79 yards and a touch. His longest run, for 14 yards. They also had number 22, Jaheim White. Have nine carries for 39 yards and zero touchdowns. His longest run was from 15 yards. For Oklahoma, well, we finally found a running game, boys. And it doesn't necessarily have to be just one guy. Because this time, it was number 27, Gavin Sachuk. 22 carries for 135 on the ground. Didn't score a touchdown, but had a long-distance run from 30 yards. Dylan Gabriel was the other leading uh, rusher on the night. 11 rushes, 50 yards, three more touchdowns, and a long run from 23 yards. By the way, if you're doing the math, that is five and three. That is eight touchdowns to go with the back of his jersey. That is, uh, that's a sooner record, by the way. Uh, Cumulatively, uh, Baker Mayfield never did it. Kyler Murray never did it. Sam Bradford never did it. Cumulatively scoring eight touchdowns. Uh, so there was that on the night. Back to the stat statistical category. We'll go to receiver now. Uh, number five for West Virginia, I should say. Devin Carter, three catches, 67 yards and a touch down. Longest reception, 32 yards. 18, Trayton Traylon Ray was the leading guy for West Virginia, was the other leading guy for or, or, uh, West Virginia. Two catches to go with 56 yards, zero touchdowns. His longest completion, 49, longest reception, I should say, 49 yards. For Oklahoma, I think that I said it best when I tweeted into uh, the West of Everest with, with uh, Grant Lee and those guys when I say it was the Drake Stoops show. Get this. 
Drake Stoops, number 12, Drake Stoops. 10 catches, 164 yards, three tugboats, and a long-time reception, reception from 60 yards. Also for Oklahoma, number four, Nick Anderson. Uh, matched his jersey number four with four receptions for 119 yards. Didn't have a touchdown. Longest comp- reception, though, 63 yards. And then now the defense. The defense from West Virginia still has to get out there and play, and they did. They did. Uh, 12, Anthony Wilson did his best. 11 total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks as a defensive back. As did Hershey McLaurin. Uh, nine total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks. For Oklahoma, linebacker Danny Stutzman. Eight total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks for Danny Boy. And number two, Billy Bowman. Seven total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks from defensive back. So, we've done offense, we have defense. Let's go over some special teams before we go over the game itself and the scoring highlights. And we'll start with West Virginia, 41, Oliver Straw, six punts, 41.3 in average, three balls landed inside the 20, zero touchbacks, and a long-distance punt from 47 yards for Straw. While the Oklahoma Sooners have 48, Luke Elzinga, three punts, 38.0 in average, Zero inside the 20, zero touchbacks, and a long bomb punt from 42 yards. That's the punter now, the kicker. West Virginia, 22, Michael Hayes, 0 for 1. 0% NA on the make, NA on the long, but did miss a 48-yarder. Oklahoma, Zachary Schmidt, 1 for 1. Perfect 100% of the night. Maybe he's found himself, guys, hitting a 23-yarder through the pipe. And now the the, uh, scoring highlights. The first one is a low light, I have to say. C.J. Donaldson, 13-yard touchdown run for West Virginia. 7-0 West Virginia with 11 minutes left in the first quarter, and that... Would be their only lead of the night. Here comes OKLAHOMA. Chris, particularly Dylan Gabriel, with one of his touchdown runs, with eight two eight twenty seven left, ties it up seven all. Still in the first, with three sixteen left. This is Dylan's second touchdown. Another two yard touchdown run for Dylan Gabriel. 316 left. Oh, Lama now leads 7 to nothing. Second quarter. This is where Brent Venables decided to get Zach Schmidt's, the kicker Smitty, head on straight with a 23 yard field goal up and good. 17 to 7. 13 54 left. Oklahoma leads. Then. Number eight, Dylan Gabriel, three-yard touchdown pass to number 81, Austin Stogner. The Stog Dog scores in the end zone for seven. For six, I guess that's point seven. It's 24-27, 9 6 left. Oh, Oklahoma leads. So now he's got a short touchdown pass. Now he's got to go for the for a medium-sized one, and he does. Dylan Gabriel, 32-yard touchdown pass to number one, Jaden Gibson, 31-7 to seven, Oklahoma, 6-20 left, OU leads. Then, uh, with uh, just seven seconds left in the first quarter, Garrett Green calls his own number, number six. From three yards out. Uh, I'm sorry, no. It's a, a touchdown pass. 
Garrett Green, three-yard touchdown pass to Cole Taylor. It is now 31-14 to with, as we said, with uh, seven seconds left in the half. Third quarter, so Dylan said a, he's ran a couple in. He said a short one. He said a medium one. What about a long one? Oh, yeah. Number eight, Dylan Gabriel, 60-yard touchdown pass to Drake Stoops. 38-14, to 14, 348 left. Oklahoma leads. Now, before we get to the next score, I have to talk about this play. On this touchdown pass, they flagged Drake for unsportsmanlike conduct, spiking the ball. He did it. Um, I guess this is his first time in the end zone tonight, or the, last night. But he's done this before. He does it after every single touchdown pass. If they didn't want him to do it now, they shouldn't have let him do it the last game against Bedlam. If they didn't want him to do it against Bedlam, he shouldn't have tagged him with Kansas, vice versa, vice versa. It's not a penalty at the end of the year. It's not a penalty at the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, end of the year. That's all I'm saying on it. That's all I got to say. Back to what you're here for. Uh, Garrett Green, seven-yard touchdown pass to Devin Carter. Makes it 38-20. to 20. 9-28 left. Uh, Oklahoma still leads. Now, West Virginia goes for two and fails on this one. Dylan Gabriel gets the touchdown back by himself with a non-yard. Uh, no. Uh, he finds Drake Stoops in the end zone from uh, nine yards out in this one with uh, 434 left in the third quarter. Uh, it got really nuts at this point. It starts to get nuts really the next one. Fourth quarter, his last touchdown pass to Drake, by the way. Nine yards. This is where it really got off the rails. Dylan Gabriel in the fourth quarter threw a nine-yard touchdown pass to Drake Stoops, 52-20. to 20. 13.46 left. Oklahoma leads. Now, as you guys know, or as you don't know, now they turn off the lights. They let us have a little fun in the dark, if you will. Now, while they were doing that, there were some punches thrown. Somebody got in Dylan's face. Uh, Drake got knocked out. A lot of stuff happened on this play. Uh, more specifically, at this point, I guess it's 51 to 20. 52 to 20, at the point after, there's an uh, altercation. And uh, Oklahoma's offensive lineman basically gets kicked out of the game. So he won't be there for the first half of the BYU game. But even without him, Dylan still found the end zone one more time. This time on the ground, five-yard touchdown run, 59-20, to with 7.59 left for Oklahoma. That is your final score. All right, guys. Well, the offensive call of the game, you can go with a ton of these. I'm going with a 60-yarder from Dylan Gabriel to Drake Stoops. That was such a good call and um, by him. In the third quarter. And um, for the defensive call of the game, Ted Roof and Brent Venables, their defensive call of the game, fourth and one on the one yard line. Garrett Green, little shovel pass to CJ Donaldson, but he's met at the one yard line. No forward progress, fourth down stuff. They've done it against Texas, check mark. They should have done it against UCF. Check mark. The only reason why they did it is Canick was risen, was uh, ca uh, uh, charged, if you will, with a taunting call file violation. And uh, next play, West Virginia's in anyway. I mean, uh, UCF's in anyway. This time again, stuffed at the line of scrimmage, guys. That's impressive. Think about where this defense was when. When uh, that who shall not be named and Alex Grinch was here. Grinch never did this. That is three goal line stops that Oklahoma has gotten. That's pretty impressive, boys. All right, speaking of impressive, 
Let's get this impressive victory out of the way and push forward to BYU. With that being said, you guys know me. I'm Harry James. You can catch this and all my other videos on the Facebook, Harry James Taylor, YouTube, The Hype Man Harry on Twitter, or 1982 Boomer Sooner on the YouTube. All right, guys. As I said, pushing forward to that BYU game. Till then, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.